fight, 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 the rallying cry from opening day of the Republican convention. This comes hours after President Biden asked the nation to tone down the political rhetoric. It's time to cool it down. We all have a responsibility to do that. But the image of President Trump with fist in the air and yelling fight three times moments after he was shot is exactly the message the former president is hoping will give him the momentum from the convention all the way to the election. This is something that could really stick because it can really be weaponized by the Republicans uh, in support of their candidate. Political and media experts say rather than policies, Trump relies on simple messaging of making America great again, and the post-assassination attempt image fits right into it. Trump has been a master of imagery, and he knows how to take advantage of every opportunity to get his message across. So where does that leave the Democrats who planned on using this week to heavily criticize Trump but have pulled back after the shooting? If they feel like they have to de-emphasize negativity around Trump, but they're having issues spinning their own candidate as positive, where do they go from there? So it's really kind of a catch-22. So far, Democratic messaging has been calls for unity and calm from the president and his supporters. On Truth Social today, Trump also called for unity, but went on to write about the legal issues against him using the language witch hunt, the January 6 hoax in the Manhattan DA's zombie case. By next week, we'll see the negative ads on both sides. The gloves will come off again. With all the attention on Trump this week, political experts say Democrats would be wise to lay low and come up with a strategy. So starting next week, they'll be unified behind a clear plan moving forward. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.